hello and welcome back so basically i've been trying to do a vlog style video the last few days and it has literally been a shambles so first of all i decided i wanted to do a wee drag look i don't really know where the inspiration came from or what the issue was but um well i do know what the issue was it was the fact that I tried to do drag makeup in the first place. So I was going down the eyebrow and was just really, really loving my life. And they literally looked green. And then I decided to do this really gorgeous sunset eye look on the top of it. And the whole thing was just actually atrocious looking, to be honest with you. It was hideous. And then from there, we went to doing our tan and stuff that night. So I used a new tan. I used the Be Perfect 10 Second Tan. Really, really recommend. Um, we didn't look at my hands though, as you would think otherwise. Did off with the tan and did it all. It was lovely. Did use the um this wee brush and I do a different way of tanning my face, but I basically used this brush a wee bit of this tan and some moisturiser I use just my whatever my daily moisturiser is so I use that and got really nice uh, skin glow on stuff and so I went into the bathroom washed my hands and then the tan started running down my arms so I was like right I need to fix this so I put more tan on my hands and like my forearm so I did that now I'm sitting here with this but I'm literally sitting here with this tan situation and this was yesterday and it still hasn't been resolved but to be honest yesterday we were doing this thing for the BBC and they were doing all these close-ups of my hands and I was like thank you obviously this was all with social distancing and stuff but um I was like <laughs> like look at these my palm is literally disgusting so that's unreal but then it was really good because I got a Sarah parcel so that came yesterday and um i'll just try and insert like my makeup it's just it literally none of it made any sense so i didn't want to just like put in all the videos and everyone be like what what is this but it's just kind of what like i've been up to the last few days but um i thought i would keep it going so i got the zara parcel and i did do a haul whenever i opened it all and it was, it was good but my room was literally so messy so um here to do the haul again so i have opened the the main parcel and I have one more there but I think it only has one thing in it so I'm going to open the new parcel which I think has the shoes in it and I also already opened this parcel but I'm going to open that all today and try it all on again today because the video like if I was to show you you would be like so do you ever clean your room but anyways so this is why there's 50 different outfits sometimes I have makeup on sometimes I don't have makeup on I have different hair throughout this whole video so that is just basically my explanation so um yeah i thought i would just do it all again and just explain it all so i can insert my clips throughout so hopefully this is not too boring or anything but anyways i'm just going to do this haul because this will probably be the most entertaining part of the video i'm just going to get in and start the wee mini haul also please ignore the white top underneath it's freezing cold i was wearing a different outfit and of course things don't be going my way also don't even ask why there's a full on fro situation. I don't really know either. Hello, welcome to my channel. I look different in every single video. I'm like out of breath from looking these. So this is the first one. This is the more fun box, but this is the one I've already opened. I'm such a disorganized person, so this is extremely difficult. First thing I got, of course, um, fitting right in with my brand here. Um, my brand, I don't know who you think I am. Obviously a little zebra print top, animal print. This is really nice on. I'll just, I'm gonna do a wee try on with all this stuff and just insert it as we go along. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Um, It's kind of hard to see what it looks like off. Mm. Got like rouge in at the front and it's that funky material, I don't know. Anyways, you know what I mean, you still be able to see the material, yeah. But yeah, it's really, really cute and it sits up like this. I thought the sleeves were going to be really weird on it, but it's actually really, really nice on. Why is there no little markings on this and not the screen? So, um, was these trousers. Now, these are literally like crisp white and me and crisp white do not go too well. When I was looking on the website, I saw like there was loads and loads of nice jeans, like white jeans. I love uh, Zara, Pull&Bear and Stradivarius for jeans always go to they're all the same basically in all the companies anyways especially mom jeans like they're really really good for them or like funky jeans like not your average skinny jeans and i really needed a new pair of white jeans because my other ones are literally covered in tan and they're 
orange essentially. I opened these and I literally squealed at the length of them. Right. These are literally um two thirds of my body. So these are so long. Like I can't even get them all in the camera. I'm not too sure about these because of the length of them, but they were nice with a heel and they are giving me severe holiday vibes, but I'm not going on holiday because of the corona situation and I would have to wear heels with these because I am too short. So I'm not too sure about these, but I do really like them. So yeah, that was them. My second pair of jeans that I got also white because obviously you've got to be careful with jeans. Oh, I forgot to say, I, I got both the jeans in a size 8. But um, so these ones, these are more of an off-white. Uh, they're called the Sailor for the style of them. And um, yeah, they're like flared at the bottom. So they are, and you can tell they are an off-white color. But I really, really love these. It was so strange. Like I tried them on and realized um, there's no back pocket. I thought that was a really, really random choice. But these fit really, really nicely. And they're gorgeous with heels. But um. I know I, they're meant to be kind of a crop jean, but obviously because I am so short, but I think I would get away with these without a heel still, but I really, really love the fit of these. Again, size eight and yeah, the wee detailing and stuff in these, I really like the wee brassy buttons. I thought they were lovely. The next thing I got was um a wee perfume. This is the scent Red Vanilla and I love the bottle and stuff. It was really good because their scents are nice. Um, I'll put a wee bit on actually. It does, it's very aromatic though because the more you let it sit, you let it sit for like a wee period of time, like let the scent only come in out now. But um, yeah, I really like that. It's a good little scent and their scents are really cheap and affordable. So yeah, I would recommend our scents, but there's so many, so you would need to smell them beforehand. I don't know, I don't know how people just buy scents without having like without having smelt them before. Do you know what I'm saying? Last thing in this delivery was, oh, this is, I think this is my favorite thing. Honestly, it was gorgeous, this and the flower jeans at Lockdown Top. I love the top and the bag, the top and the bag, probably my favorite, but, um, but it's like a wee off-white creamy color. And I literally love it. It's like a wee petite bag. And um, it comes, obviously it has these wee straps and I think these are really, good wee size for straps because normally small bags sometimes the straps can be a wee bit too small and I like a good handle you know so you can put it on your arm and stuff and but of course it obviously came with a wee strap for putting it over your shoulder and it also came with a little pouch I think it's a security tag I don't know but anyways it came with like a wee pouch and I think these are really good for like wee money bags and stuff I think they're really handy but I love this and I love the size of it a wee mini bag you know for going out or go for a little dinner vibe where you just need your purse and your phone and no makeup. I'm just gonna open this one. This one's far lighter which I'm not complaining about because the other one was so heavy. So we're now sitting and I'm just gonna open up this parcel. I haven't seen these yet. Kind of excited. My favourite thing is wearing clothes and other random stuff because it's like wee presents and because obviously you're not going out and like spending loads of money like for going out it's just so hard not to spend it all on clothes and makeup here's the shoes i did so but anyways here's the shoes they came in the same little bag as the bag came in and oh my god oh these are so cute obviously getting loads of wear out of these during lockdown I don't really know what my thought process was but so here are the shoes they're like attached I don't really understand anyways so another reason why I had to redo the stuff yesterday was that um I was trying to show this shirt and stuff and I was literally wearing patterned clothing and I was holding up all this pattern and I was like no 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 not happening also we're just not talking about the hands because they are a disgrace these are the shoes I think these are so cute they're like a wee low blocky like they'll be so good for going out because i would be able to wear them all night so i would and it's really funky like the way like, can you see that the feet i don't know whether that's going to be irritating but um yeah i'm going to try them on and um, they're in a size four i'll probably try it all on like a wee outfit even though none of it really goes because it's all a mixture of whites 
and um, backs. So yeah, we'll just try it on and then I'll insert those clips here. This is the whole thing together. It's really difficult to try and get this all in. But yeah, so I'll just do a little bit by bit. I guess, so these are the shoes. I think these are really like nice plays, you can wear my toes. And this is the cut of the, this is the second pair of jeans, the more off-white ones. And then this is the little bag. I think it's so, so cute. And honestly, see in real life, it's not as mismatched as what this looks, but I probably, still will probably go um, black with this outfit for accessories. And um, this is the wee top. And I really, really love this on. It was nicer yesterday. Had it on with a different, um, a different brand underneath it. It was not nicer. But yeah, I really, really love this little top. I think it's so cute. I thought the shoulders would have like maybe been fallen off it, but um, it's actually okay. So it is. Yeah, I think it fits really well. You can also wear a belt with these jeans, but um, they're sitting kind of okay at the minute without one. But um, yeah, really, really cute. I think it's still so weird how there's no um, pockets on the jeans. This would also be really cute with leather jeans, but I actually kind of like it with these jeans, to be honest with you. But I really like it with leather jeans as well. Yeah, this is this first pair of jeans. And then I'll just quickly put on the, the other pair of jeans as well and show you them. And we're back. I don't know why I did that either. So anyways, obviously just see my fit, see him stinking ball, really cannot wait to get this painted. But anyways, this is the second pair of jeans. Very long, as you can tell. But it just is because I am so short, so I don't know what the crack is it is. I don't know whether I might send these ones back, but they are very, very crisp white as well. I kind of really like them. You know, I'm not too sure, though just because of the length of them. But they are like a funky fit because they are so straight legged. So I don't know. I'm gonna see how I feel with these. They also do need a good iron if I was gonna wear them anywhere. I think it would need a higher shoe because these are still nearly touching the ground. To see if I can style these, but I am a bit nervous about them being so white. Also please ignore this. I don't I can't really remember how I got in my room and it's stayed there since then. So yeah, unreal. That was all the stuff I got. So it was from Zara. So end of my mini haul. Hello everyone, Mr. Right here, just chilling with my cup of tea and I've got some Jaffa cakes and I was looking back at the footage earlier on and realised I literally didn't end the video or had no conclusion. So I know it was a bit of a random one. I just wanted to sum up what I was doing because I filmed loads of stuff but like it just wasn't making any sense. So that's why I had to do the sit down format. So I'm just gonna finish off my day with trying some new Jaffa cakes. These are are raspberry Jeff cakes. I've never tried these. They're from Maxi's. I've never had them. So I'm going to try one. So. Mm -mm. It tastes like something. You know what they taste like? You know them roses? that are the raspberry flavour? No, no, no. No, no, no. I do not like them. That's really weird. I feel like I can do the rest of it though. It's like torture. That's disgusting. Why are they a thing? Well, it actually reminds me the other day my mum comes in to me and she was like, I want to try this. And I was like, What is it? It was like this cocktail play. And I was like, What is it? Like, can explanation please just like i only made it it's a wee bloody mary and i've never had a bloody mary right please witness me trying the bloody mary it is literally the most vile drink i've ever had in my whole entire life like it was disgusting this is a bloody mary alan made i'd like yeah. you to taste it is it disgusting Lovely. Mm. <laughs> is there cinnamon in it mm. taste it i can smell it just taste it I can't follow that. Honestly, like, that was on, this year is on par with the twos. I was like, mm, I actually feel ill after eating that. 
I have a piece of shortbread in there, so I might go just eat some shortbread to make myself not have the taste of actual fineness. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's literally been the most random thing ever. So hopefully the next one will not be as much of a disheveled mess. Um, hopefully I will be not as much of a disheveled mess and will actually be able to form proper sentences without 20 minute pauses in between each word. But anyways, nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed and sure I will see you in the next one. And that is it from me. Bye.